in today's Madden 22 video, I'm gonna give you the recipe to play lockdown defense in Madden 22. If you watch the entire video, you're gonna get three days of good luck. Let's go. What's up everybody? If you wanna take your Madden 22 game into the next level, the link in the description has my eBooks and every eBook that you get gets a free upgrade for four months. I repeat, free upgrades for four months. Let's get it. All right, after you drop a like on the video to let me know that you love the content that's been rolling out, pay attention to the on screen tutorials. I like to give my opponent an aggressive look. So I would peach my entire team out of the nickel normal. People was having questions on how do you get the blitz to work? The person has been getting dotted up well. The key is to give your opponent an aggressive look that's gonna set the tone for the first half. Then you can make adjustments. You can play all coverage, only rush three. You can play coverage, only rush four. You can play coverage, only rush two. It's all up to you. You're gonna take away your opponent's best routes. Now, key number two. Watch the runs to the strong side. You can see me jumping out there and making my opponent cut back. You have the force defender and then you have the cut defender. Now, here's a key adjustment. Instead of me blitzing, I'm going to man up the slot and I'm going to man one of my linebackers, aka safeties, with the other person. So, his initial read is gone. Now he's playing around in the pocket and I'm going to click on, dive, and get a coverage sack. Like I said, people said, how come I can't get the blitz to work? You want to get the blitz to work early in the game when your opponent is not expecting it or when your opponent has more than 12 or 15 yards to go. Now, you can see we are mixing in the coverage defense. Drop a like on the video. I'm giving you all the tips. His read should be five yards and closer. I'm leaving the underneath hitch open. I'm leaving the quick out route open because now I have a two possession lead and I don't want him to get anything 20 to 25 yards down the field. So I am playing bend but don't break defense. Start the game off aggressive and then I switch it up and I play bend but don't break defense. As you see, he's trying to hit corner routes. He's trying to hit long developing routes down the field. I am gonna give him three and four yard passes. I am gonna give him six and seven yard passes. He's not gonna get anything past 20 yards. That's how you make adjustments and be successful. Also, if you run cover two, give your opponent a different look. Run cover three match. After you run cover three match, give your opponent a different look. Run cover six or cover nine. That is how you are successful. As you can see, we get a nano detection right there. Should have got somebody super fast in the backfield, but the key is we have that hook zone right there. Take away his read, and once you are putting pressure on your opponent, he is gonna start hesitating. He's gonna start prematurely running out of the pocket, and now you are in the driver's seat. So 28 to seven, you can see right here, he's trying to do the glitchy Hail Mary. He can't get enough time. Now we're gonna dial up the pressure because once you got your opponent behind, they can't run the ball. They have to do all kinds of passes. Only thing you have to worry about is a streak, a corner route, or a crossing route. The three main plays. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, subscribe. Road to 10K, let's go.